Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Folktale, or Folktale Town, or whatever it's going to be. So, what we're going to be doing today is the uh, Woodcuts Hut. Because last episode we did the storehouse, and we actually put some wood outside, I think it makes sense for us to go uh, and, and basically build the Woodcuts Hut and, and get that built. This is the one that they've got in-game, I think it's pretty cool, so it's mostly made out of wood. Um, big, big saw outside, kind of very, very Skyrim-esque, isn't it? Well, it's not Skyrim-esque. It's a big saw. It makes sense. Um, but it's very, very simple, so it should be a pretty quick build. But, yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting how we do this one. And what we're going to be doing inside as well. So, uh, yeah, there's not really too much to it. <laughs> Again, it's going to look very, very similar kind of style to the rest of the buildings in this game. So, let's... Uh, I'll go and get a load of pictures. I'll put them on my screen. I'll show you guys what I'm actually using as my reference pictures. And then let's get into Minecraft and get started on this one. Alright guys, so here is the setup of my pictures. Really, really simple, because it's such a, a simple kind of shape and everything, uh, and design, it's going to be really easy. So I've literally just got one on the front and one on the back. Not really too much to it, the only things I need to remember are obviously the saw's going to be one of the main parts of it here. Uh, making sure it's wood, getting this top bit in as usual with the rest of the style. And also, I'll do something for a sign, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll find out. Uh, probably item frame related with that, or using item frames to do that type, kind of kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's get into the game and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in Minecraft. So, using the Conquest mod again, um, just don't actually do these builds, but when I do the tutorials, uh, I will be doing them in default. So, I'm also going to be trying to explain it all in default if you want to go, if you guys want to build along and get the build uh, beforehand. So, yep, yeah, right. Where I'm going to actually be putting this one, uh, I've decided to go for, well, <laughs> I had a couple, a look at a couple of different locations. Uh, there's one over here. That I've kind of like cleared a little bit, but then we've got this gigantic hill, so I'm thinking, well, can we use this hill for something else? Can we like shove it as a mine or something? I don't know. Um, I know it's a crap mine, but um, possibly use that as where we're going to have like the, the mining parts of uh, the actual, this little village. Um, then I had a look over here, and then I was like, well, actually if I put that there, it doesn't make any sense. There's no wood around, you know, it's not like there's a load of wood across the river. Um, I am still thinking about putting in a bridge here possibly, or, or somewhere else. Like, I, I just think this is the natural point for a bridge. Uh, it, ju it just seems to look quite cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit, but it'll be quite cool as well. So, we'll have a look at that. I don't know what I'm going to put there instead. So instead, I've gone for a place all the way over here, this little spot here. Um, so it's kind of, you know, deep enough away, but we'll just wind a path all the way through up here. So we'll have a path going from this way. You can kind of see it. I've cleared it, cleared the way a little bit as well. So we'll go up here. Up this bit, and then this is where we're going to have our little little lodge. So it's not too far away, uh, but it's far enough away, and it's in the woods, which makes more sense. So, yeah, I think it'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, right, materials we're going to need are going to be, again, use our cobblestone um, as our as kind of base. You know, we've been using it a lot on this little bit. It just works really well. So where are you? Cobblestone. So we've got all the different types of cobblestone. Uh, we've also got some wooden logs. So I can't remember. I'm sure there is, like, a yeah, the birch. Birch thing. Oh, wooden logs. Okay. Dark birch logs as well. Forgot about that. Yeah, I did forget about those. Right. But, so these these kind of logs uh, we could actually use for it. I'm also tempted by just because these are so awesome. Like the, the actual 3D texture part of it. Doing something instead like this. Um, I don't know. I might, I might try both. Because uh, they do, both of them look really awesome. Um, it's just God knows if we want to use those. I don't think we're going to want to use the dark ones. So the dark ones are exactly the same. They're just dark. Uh, I'm not so keen on them. I actually want it to be quite light, I think. So we'll have that there. Uh, and we'll use, you know, that same thing with the... Uh, what's it called? The log thing, The other one that we had. This, that one there. The dark ornamental one. We'll shove that in there as well as that that white that we've used as well. But we'll, we'll kind of get to that in a bit. Right, so if we start with one of the back corners, because we have the log cutting pieces and stuff like that here, uh, they'll then cut them all up and then move them across. So we need to kind of start with over on this side, really, ideally. Um, now what I am going to do is a similar thing to what I've done on the on the warehouse. There we go. So I'll do something like that. Then one, two, three, maybe. And then do something like this again. So we're going to have like, you know, it's going to be quite built up and then you're going to have the logs behind it. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So you're going to have something like, oops, like this. Top of it. And I don't like that at all. <laughs> Not with that log anyway. So maybe we're going to try it with this instead then. And try and 
Is that cross? Possibly, uh, I don't know. Let's have a look at what we've done before for these side bits, because I'm sure... Oh yeah, see, I'm trying to think about doing something like this. But now I'm thinking, does that actually work with the build, or do we do something more like this, where it's completely built out of it? I don't know yet. And we'll see. All right. This is the thing. It's too far away for me to tell. So we've got kind of... Let's just try this for now. Let's try something like this. Now it's pretty square as well. So I've got one, two, three. What did I do? Just three of them. Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three. And build that out. I think that's going to be too small. It's going to be really... If this is the size of it, it's too... It's just too small, isn't it? So I think we're going to have... Already have, going to have to expand it. That's just... It's too dinky. Um, so we'll go a little bit bigger than that. Well... Quite a bit bigger than that, actually. Just a couple extra blocks. So I'm putting the extra couple of blocks, putting that there. Do this thing again. We'll just try this out. Oops. It might be that we just scale it down a little bit, you know. And here, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five there. There we go. Get this cross in. Put in those. And we'll just try this. I might even try that on one side, and then then this is gonna go just on top like that. That doesn't look too bad now. Now let's come over the top. It doesn't look bad, right? So if we have, if we do try this way, just to see what it looks like, because I'm still curious about it. You know, if we had something like that instead. That also looks quite good as well, doesn't it? Um, we'll try it. So what I'm going to have to do it is then the next layer is going to be on top to make it look like that that kind of pattern. And do the next layer on top like that. And yeah, this one. Uh, oops. Yeah, you know, to get those alternating kind of log things, so you get it going across there, and this one ends, and that'll be the one that's on top or whatever. I just don't know. <laughs> I think I prefer the lighter wood way of doing it. Um, this is a definitely... A, I'm almost tempted to do that for another build and actually use these logs in that way because it just works very, like, really cool. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fine. The other way that you guys can do it, if you... And, and this is one, one of the ways I've done it before. I'll show you as well to make kind of grooves and logs and things like that. It's really, really cool. Well, I say it's really, really cool. If you grab something like Birchwood Stairs, you end up doing, and I've done this on my other log builds before, and you just end up doing like upside down stairs. And this also makes it like a nice little pattern. You could do stuff like that, or you can do it alternating. So that you then get like a rounded bit where you get a groove in, you get this coming out, and then you go in again, and then if you went up again, you then do the exact same. Oops. Uh, the only problem is it ends up being really big. You know, that would be two logs. It doesn't look great actually with the conquest stuff, I think. If we have this, yeah, it's because of the, it's because of the direction of the textures, as always. All right, okay. Let's if we try it on here. Let's show you guys what it actually looks like. Otherwise, you won't get a feel for it. So you can do stuff like that, um, or you can, yeah, or you can just use what I've used before, which is just your stairs, and you just do stairs on top of stairs, or upside down stairs on top of stairs, and you can do like grooves like that. Just adds a little bit more 3D to it. Um, I'm just going to use these plain textures because I think well, I quite like the I quite like the logs of this. And it also with the end pieces, it does work because you can see it from both sides kind of sticking out. So it's kind of already got it built in, hasn't it? It's a bit cheaty, but <laughs> whatever. Um, it works. There you go. It doesn't quite work with both of those though. There we go. So if we get that in there, then it peeks over. It looks quite good. Right. So I don't know how many we want to go up with this, and also we need to sort out these side bits. And all I'm going to do is probably just do this. Do like quite small ones. And this one here, because it's on an edge, shove that on there to make it look more like it's got a proper supports. Alright, and there, and there, there, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do. So it's got, you know, it's quite built up. Um, I think, now we've got to think about the actual windows as well. So with this bit, we're going to have the door like somewhere like that. And again, this is why the texture really works. 
It's an awesome texture. So we'll go with that. We're going to go with the good old spruce door because I know I've been overusing that. But uh, or do we go with something like a spruce uh, birch door? No, I don't like the birch door. Junglewood door. Yeah, maybe the junglewood door. Uh, and then inside we've got such a small little house, but that's fine. It's not a problem. We've got to put on a uh, fireplace at some point. So we'll do that in a bit. And then basically the rest of it, except for this side, has got windows. So we've got uh, we've got a window on the back here, which is more at the angle because we've got a fireplace in this bit. So we might do an angled fireplace. And then this one's got like a more centralised window. So we'll go something like that. We're also going to go with the brown glass as well. So I'll put those in there. This is a nice couple of windows. And we'll sort something out around it. We might actually not need to because of the the cool texture of it. So we might even not, not even need to do anything at all. So we could just put something like this on it. So one of those and maybe we can just go trapdoor type stuff actually. So you get like trapdoor, yeah, trapdoor here, trapdoor there, and then maybe a slab or something. And that'll be it. You know, you can do lots and lots of cool stuff, lots of stuff. So it's whether it's going to be oak or whether we go with something more. Like spruce, I don't know. We'll have a look anyway. Let's try, let's try both of them out. There you go. Oak, I think. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't mind that. But that's that's a nice little simple window then. Um, it's just a little bit different, isn't it? So there we go. That works. I think. Oh, I don't know if we need to go up one more or we need to start doing the roof next. Now there is kind of like logs on top. I'll go across like beams. So it's whether we do something like that, and then we have this. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out is where do we have this bit here with the white in it. And that looks okay to me. Doesn't look bad. Oops, not that one. That one. Also just like finishes off that layer, doesn't it? So there we go, right, okay, if we if we go for this for now, uh, we might might move it up, maybe, put another layer of this, I uh, don't really know uh, what we're going to do with it, that's uh, so whether we don't go with like this white stucco thingamajiggy, uh, which you could use white, white wool for, for example, uh, instead we could go with something else, now there is, on the build, windows on both of these, there's like windows in the middle, I don't know if they're going to look right, so I'm not too sure. Whereas if this was all built up one more, so if we did, even if we did this, oops, there we go, and then built it up, you know, do it this way, that would give it enough for that window to work. But then that looks so chunky, it looks so out of scale from the bottom part, so we're not going to do that. I don't think. Unless we built up this bottom part. If we had that bottom part go up one more, then that definitely makes sense. So I'm not sure if we want that window or not. We'll leave it there for now. Uh, right, next bits. So we didn't know any of that stuff at all. Leave one side with a window, one side without. I think we're going to go and grab all the roof stuff. So there we go. Hay bale. Also grab, or also grab all the detail but bits and bobs as well. Um, I've not got a slab right now, I've got a slab around. There we go, slab, a trap door. Uh, we also need to do the wooden beam on top, so we've got the oak wood slab. We've also got a rope around a log. Try that out. Um, probably want to have. This is kind of like a common feature. I know it's quite a common feature, this, isn't it, really? Having this kind of thing on it. Whether we have that on this side to, to light the road at night, that's what I'm thinking. The, the night road, because this road's going to connect up into the back. So we have something like that. I don't know. I have as well. Okay, right. So now I can't remember. Did I put? I did put an edge on this as well. I might do the same with this one. Uh, and all my square builds, I'd do that with maybe. I don't know. I don't like doing that. <laughs> I just don't like doing that. So I ended up doing like this kind of thing. Where I build it on top. So we're just going to put these on top. There we go. And then on the, the top, top bit of this, we're going to have something completely different. Alright. Uh, going to have to destroy this tree, I think. It's horrible anyway. Oh, it's because it's melting into two trees, right? 
Alright, I don't know what we want to do with the killing of the leaves of that then. Uh, to be honest, the default trees are just horrible anyway. Um, they're just not great. But for the purposes of this little Let's Build series, because we're not going to be using this, uh, you know, obviously we're building it as a village, but we're going to be migrating all these houses and stuff into a different map. I'm not really too worried about it. So, but usually I'd be like, oh my god, we need to get rid of them. But it's fine. Right, so if we go for that, if we also grab, let's grab us, uh, the slab stuff, uh, the spruce stuff. Now, from what I remember, we did that, 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 upside down there, no matter what. Obviously, that goes down to there. And this one's just, I think it was a slab here instead, so it blocked up that bit. I'll see that quite clearly. Let's see if that we go down this time, because we've got this, yeah, I think with this one, we're going to go down to there. Because then it'll block up a little bit of this uh, bigger bit down here. Right, so we do those. There we go. Because of this this big log here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm still not sure about these end pieces for it. I don't know how we're gonna. There's not really any way we can meld it in or anything. It's not. It's not gonna work. So I don't know what we're gonna do with it. But we'll figure something out as we go along. Right there. Okay, right. Then on the top. Oh yeah, that's why I had the bloody oak wood. I was wondering why I had the oak wood. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. So we're gonna have something like that. That's on top. And then we're gonna go one, two, like that maybe. It's all right. Now, the question is, do we want to do something like that or that? If we're going to do it, we'll do it there. And we'll definitely have this on here, so that if they did want to work in the dark, they can. Right, that looks okay. I still think it needs an extra layer up. It just, it looks like this entire building is just too short. Luckily, I've got World Edit. Um, so I can try it out very quick. So which bit do I need to do? Uh, it'll be from here. Well, grab blue leaves. That's fine. Whatever, whatever material works. Uh, we'll grab from there. So I'm trying to also grab in you know, this bit up here, um, all the way over to here, and then we'll go across this bit and there. So it's going to screw up this tree a little bit, but whatever. Right. Has that got everything in? Yeah. Right, so move one up. Okay. There we go. Now, if I just try this out, I'll see how it looks. Again, this is the good thing about World Edit, you know, it can undo. <laughs> so, see how this looks. It might have made, made it too big, I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? But now that looks too stretched, doesn't it? I think that looks too damn stretched. Really annoying. Hmm. Really, really annoying. Okay. So if we undo that, I'll just push it back down and then it'll just delete that. So we're going to have to have something like this. Which is okay. It's not bad. I think it's also part of it is because I haven't got a great view of it. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Right. That'll do. Right. Let's go for thatch now. Thatch. Alright, we're going to need a slab. Stair. Trap door. Uh, and also, yeah, that block as well. That thatchy block. Right, so if we just mess up the roof now. So this is, I think we usually do this in the next episode, don't we? I can't remember. So if we have art, if we do, then uh, cool. We're doing good. Mm. Can't do that, then we need to do something like this, then, don't we? Or cut it in. Arr. Trying to figure out what I want to do with this. I want to do something like that then. Uh, oh, not like that. Right, yeah, do that. And we'll also yeah, shove a slab on there. Do some of these, which are great. And then we'll switch out a couple of these ones for those ones. Fine, it's all right. Right, same on the other side. Mess it up. 
big lot here. Go across there. I'm trying to keep it, you know, pretty normal so the inside, no matter what, is fine. Um, obviously, if you don't have the thatch stuff for this, you you can't do this kind of roofing, but that doesn't matter because um, you you guys will be able to pick up the the kind of technique for doing this kind of thing with. Well, you can do it with a lot of things. You can do it with um, wood, which looks really good as well. So I'm not going to do that though. That looks stupid. Right. Yeah, I'll do something like that. That's fine. Right. Thatch it. Thatch. 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 Uh, thatch. There we go. Right. And that one as well. And then one of those. And uh, one of those. Oops. One of those. That's about it. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's two of those next to each other. Put one of those in. That looks good. So now I've got the roof as well. So that's all good. Right. Chimney time. We're just going to shove this chimney on. Um quickly so I know that we're running out a little bit of time but we've got enough for it so what are we gonna, where are we going to have for this chimney um, most likely it's going to be in this corner here so that's where we've got that so maybe we do yeah we do a two wide chimney um, we'll just do this going up for the time being that's where it's going to be it will cut through this probably so maybe what we do is we do something like this where it's got a, a small a bit going across there then it goes across to there and maybe it even ends up like that, I don't know. Yeah, we do something where it, it looks like it's properly integrated into, into the building. And I guess something like that. Right, and I think I'm going to go with the one that I did uh, at the beginning, which is this kind of style, which I quite like this. I think it's quite nice and simple. I'll also grab some yeah, moss stone to yeah, mess things up a bit. There we go, so we'll do something like this, so we get that. And you get that. And with our moss stone, let's first let's go onto the outside of this. There we go. Put that in there. Put that in there. That one goes there. That one there. That one there. And there as well. I don't want to do that though. Maybe just this one then. And oh yeah, forgot about this 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 as well. Right, so if that's all done. That, that, that. See if this can fit in. It can. Has to go on top of that cobblestone wall, but that's not a problem. So got two trapdoors and a slab. See, that doesn't really matter at all. That just kind of works into the building anyway. So the design is absolutely fine. It's quite cool. Right. So that's what we get. Nice little hut. Um, I don't know what I'm going to have on the inside. I think because it's a wood cutter, I think we're going to have wood. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, maybe we can do something like this, like that, and because this is that kind of like inside wall, it doesn't really matter if we do anything. Yeah, there we'll try and keep as much on the outside, but that works there. And then what we'll do is we'll have we we'll get some of these stone slabs. See, then that looks like a little little thing there. That's all I'm thinking about, and that there, and maybe having. I think we'll go with the stone brick wall. That's that's just blocks, right? Do something like that. Hmm. I think I'll do something like that instead. Do something like that, and then we'll get iron bars of some kind, iron grill. That'll do. Um, I'll shove these up. I know it doesn't go all the way, but that's absolutely fine. Right, what I'll do is I'll put in some wood flooring. Um, and I think we're going to have to get rid of this tree as well. So it's actually pretty much in the way. So yeah, I'll put in the wood flooring while that's all doing that bit. Um, then we can, what we can start doing, I think we're also going to have to get rid of this tree. God damn it. So I'm now thinking about where the logs are going to go. Which is, the logs are going to go here, which is a nice space for it. And I'm thinking about the travelling of the logs and... How there's so much stuff. I did clear out quite a lot. So much stuff in the way. There we go. That's all right now. Let's put it right down here. Then I'll get to that. That's fine. Um, so we'll do all that. Um, yeah, flooring. Uh, the next episode, what we'll do is we'll get on and we'll finish up. Uh, well, we'll finish up. You know, the interior of this. We'll also do the exterior part of it as well. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, we'll see anyway, guys. 
So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Let's Build Folktale. If you have, come on, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.